When a narcissist realizes they have a problem with a powerful person, this is how they defeat it. The narcissists begin to sense that their mask is slipping and you're seeing through their facade. Their usual bag of tricks no longer distracts or impresses. They're left with a choice, be ignored or be dismissed. It's widely understood that narcissists thrive on attention of any kind. Neglect and criticism strike a particularly painful chord because they bruise their fragile egos and trigger deep-seated shame. But let's be honest, they'd brought it upon themselves. So, what do they do? They pick fights with you to assert their superiority, playing the classic big me, tiny new game. In most cases, it's almost laughable. Unless, of course, you're dealing with the more dangerous breed of narcissists who resort to violence when backed into a corner. Now let's talk about the kind of person who sends a narcissist running for cover. It's the one who sees through their victim act and refuses to play along. In the grand scheme of things, narcissists are just terrible to each other. They're all twisted individuals who derive pleasure from making others suffer. So, wouldn't it be poetic justice if they turned their toxic behavior on each other, especially those malignant narcissists? However, some people find it more entertaining to harm the vulnerable than to help them. It's a twisted logic where they believe they're immune to consequences, allowing them to ruin lives and careers without repercussions of their own. Narcissists often strut around with an inflated sense of self-worth and entitlement. Their knack for projecting an air of superiority, taking undue credit and deflecting blame is often seen as the secret sauce to their professional success. Consequently, those lacking in self-awareness often become unwitting targets for narcissistic manipulation. The insatiable hunger of narcissists for validation drives them to exploit and manipulate anyone within their reach. To them, those who show compassion are easy pickings. However, there are instances where they end up causing trouble for the wrong person. Contrary to the narcissist's belief, having empathy doesn't automatically equate to weakness. Sure, some individuals may be more open to persuasion, and those with a strong capacity for empathy are often compassionate and giving. Yet, there are those who can swiftly toggle their empathy switch. This adaptability is where the real strength lies. It's crucial to know when to turn off our empathy faucet when we recognize someone is simply draining us dry. Narcissists embody toxicity with their self-centeredness, manipulation, and lack of empathy, making them exceedingly difficult to connect with. However, not everyone deserves our sympathy, and we must guard against being taken advantage of. In this video, I delve into the psychology behind why narcissists are drawn to certain personality types. Mistreating someone simply because they're gentle or empathetic is unjustifiable. Narcissists struggle to comprehend that affable individuals don't have to tolerate abuse to maintain their pleasant demeanor. Initially, victims of love bombing may extend the benefit of the doubt to the narcissist, but once their deceit becomes apparent, chaos ensues. However, these individuals are not spineless. They bravely confront the narcissist about their harmful behavior, unafraid to see through their deception and face the truth head-on. To recognize true sufferers, just observe how they refuse to magnify their pain with others' sympathy. Such individuals become a thorn in the narcissist's side, causing regret for ever engaging with them, as they can't be deceived or manipulated any longer. Everyone responds uniquely to adversity. Some opt to distance themselves from the narcissist, while others seek revenge actively. If justice seems delayed, it's natural to feel disillusioned and enraged. Seeking retribution, they expose the narcissist's humiliation publicly or may resort to physical retaliation or damaging their possessions. Financially victimized, they air their grievances publicly 
or take legal action to rectify the situation. While some individuals resort to extreme measures to confront narcissists, I don't endorse this as the most effective approach. It's natural to desire revenge after enduring pain from a narcissist. As demonstrated in this video, certain retaliatory actions can indeed push a narcissist to their breaking point. Among the many triggers for a narcissist's descent into depression, exposure and abandonment by those they sought to harm are prevalent. Sometimes, merely catching them off guard with substantial evidence of their behavior can lead to a moment of realization. However, given their tendency to justify their actions, it's unlikely they'll outgrow their self-centeredness. Narcissists struggle to understand why anyone would refuse to indulge their manipulations, and this rejection fuels their anger, instilling genuine fear in those who stand against them. Out of fear, some victims may feel it's too risky to take action against the perpetrator. They might resort to blaming the victim for the incident and portraying themselves as helpless victims to cover up their wrongdoing. In extreme cases, they might even wish harm upon the victim, preferring not to deal with them again. Dealing with lies, manipulation, or abuse is never pleasant, and some of us would rather confront the narcissist head-on than endure further suffering. It's like waking up from a deep slumber when we realize a narcissist has been manipulating us. By disappearing without a trace, we cleverly cut off their narcissistic supply, leaving them bewildered. To avoid future interactions with narcissists, we can embody the traits admired by others. That wraps up today's discussion. Wishing you all a wonderful week ahead. I want to express my sincere gratitude for your time and attention. If you found this video helpful, consider donating and sharing it with your social networks. Thank you. When narcissists do these stupid things, they are completely done and perish before you. Welcome, curious minds. Today, we embark on a journey into the intriguing realm of narcissistic behavior, the moment when they boldly declare they are 100% done with you. Have you ever pondered the authenticity behind someone's affection and care? This is a common struggle, given the unique traits of narcissistic conduct. Show your support by hitting the like button as we delve into this topic. And if you haven't already, consider joining our community for deeper conversations. Your thoughts matter, so drop a comment below to share your ideas. But before we dive in, let me express our immense gratitude for your presence in our community. Your support means the world to us. If you've enjoyed our content and want to contribute to its growth, consider giving us a Kofi support. Your generosity fuels our ability to bring you more fascinating material. Every bit of support, no matter how small, is deeply valued. And for those joining our membership program, we have a special bonus. Your name will be featured in one of our upcoming videos. It's a small gesture to honor and thank the incredible individuals who make our work possible. Now, let's unravel the dynamics that unfold especially in intimate relationships, when a narcissist takes the drastic step of severing ties. Their behavior becomes glaringly evident. Buckle up for this eye-opening experience. Building relationships doesn't follow the typical path for narcissists. Unlike most individuals who are driven by love, care, and a genuine desire to connect, narcissists substitute resentment, contempt, and even anger for these positive emotions. Unfortunately, this sets them apart in a negative way. Their struggle to maintain meaningful connections isn't a minor concern. It's a pervasive issue rooted in a deficiency of the intrinsic force that binds people together. Narcissists, feeling poorly about themselves, often exhibit behavior that others find peculiar. The erosion of strong ties essential for the strength and cohesion of our social groups is disheartening, contributing to the overall increase in narcissism. 
The alarming rise in narcissistic behaviour within our culture deviates from the accepted norms of human interaction. Instead of nurturing love and affection, narcissists' consistent negativity contradicts social standards. Although a narcissist may feign care, their perception and expression of concern significantly differ from what is considered typical. Their struggle to establish and maintain close relationships, as opposed to fostering love, underscores the pervasive issues associated with narcissism. The increasing prevalence of narcissistic behaviour is alarming, signalling a shift away from our inherent inclinations toward love and connection, veering instead toward resentment and self-centredness. It's not merely a matter of concern. Proactive measures are imperative. This trend underscores the importance of upholding the fundamental principles that bind us as a species – love, empathy, compassion and connection. As we navigate these challenging times, it is crucial to actively combat the rise of narcissism and strive for a society founded on mutual respect and understanding. Narcissists often target those who continue to act from genuine intentions of love and concern. This is because human nature is inherently predisposed to love, care and respect for one another. However, traumatic experiences during a narcissist's formative years reshape their perspective. Whether stemming from emotional mistreatment or abandonment, these experiences drive them to adopt a defensive and manipulative demeanour, believing it's crucial for survival. It's disheartening how their early life encounters lead them to replace a natural state of love and concern with a manipulative one. Narcissists employ an initial facade of love and affection as a calculated strategy to gain trust. This calculated imitation involves mimicking your behaviour and interests, creating an illusion of familiarity and shared passions. Beneath this veneer of compatibility lies the narcissist's intrinsic inclination toward manipulation and exploitation, a core aspect of their character. They seamlessly blend in, utilising their adept ability to mimic and mirror as powerful tools, until they deem the act unnecessary. The authentic self of a narcissist, void of genuine love and affection, emerges when the charade is discarded. Despite appearing to be a perfect reflection of your persona, the narcissist's display is nothing but a performance. While feigning intimacy and emotional connections, they grapple with these sentiments, lacking a true understanding of them. In contrast to most people who derive strength from genuine love, narcissists draw energy from causing emotional distress to others. The real harm begins when they cease pretending, revealing the extent of their deceit. It's a harsh reality check, and the disappointment is palpable when you realize they didn't genuinely share your interests and emotions. The person you thought you knew is a facade, Beneath that exterior lies an individual devoid of authentic love and affection. The charming, caring persona was merely a pawn in their deceptive game. This sobering revelation often comes too late for those ensnared in a narcissist's web. Nevertheless, the initial step toward recovery involves understanding their tactics and the traits of a narcissist. Questions may arise, pondering if it's your fault or if they ever truly loved you. These questions stem from viewing the narcissist through the lens of a regular person. However, the revelation that they've been feigning disdain instead of love becomes evident. It's crucial to grasp that narcissists are incapable of reciprocating genuine love. In the midst of this painful connection, a yearning for affection from someone capable of feeling or expressing it may arise. Understanding that narcissists cannot provide the love and affection you deserve is essential. Narcissists may end a relationship for various reasons, such as a lack of true commitment, weariness of you, or an interest in someone else. They might have been engaging with someone else or replacing you during your time together. Acknowledging that you were merely an emotional source for them is painful, 
But it is crucial to recognize the genuine nature of a narcissist and commence the healing process. However, it's crucial to refrain from completely vilifying narcissists. Oversimplifying and stigmatizing them is counterproductive and disrespectful. Labeling them as demons mirrors their tendency to use negative attributes as a shield for their behavior. While acknowledging that someone may exhibit negative behavior, it's vital to understand our own role in relationships. Recognizing our imperfections is the initial stride toward personal growth. Although it might be convenient to label someone as a devil and place all the blame on them, such an approach is unfair and unhelpful. In any relationship, everyone plays a role, and acknowledging our own shortcomings contributes to better interpersonal dynamics. Additionally, it's essential to remember that, despite their destructive actions, narcissists are individuals shaped by trauma and past experiences. While this perspective adds complexity, it doesn't excuse their actions. Moving on from a narcissistic relationship requires introspection and a firm resolve. It's disheartening when a narcissist withdraws their false intimacy. Reflecting on the signals we overlooked due to our desire to be with them is crucial. Self-deception often keeps us in unhealthy relationships and hinders our ability to leave them. Contemplating our own motivations and understanding why we tolerate unsatisfactory relationships is necessary for progress. The initial step involves valuing ourselves and refusing to settle for anything less than what we truly deserve. In conclusion, the healing process is a gradual journey. It's completely reasonable to require time to navigate the loss of the relationship and the person you once knew. While feelings of confusion and hurt are natural, it's crucial to keep progressing toward healthier relationships. Exciting a narcissistic relationship may be challenging and time-consuming, but it offers an opportunity for significant personal growth. Confronting fears and uncertainties allows you to gain a better understanding of yourself and your desires in relationships. It's a chance to reconstruct your life based on your needs, liberate it from the influence of the narcissist. Most importantly, it's an opportunity to cultivate self-love, self-respect, and an awareness of your intrinsic value, while holding others accountable for showing the respect and love you genuinely deserve. Thank you for engaging in this thought-provoking discussion. We hope these insights provide valuable perspectives. To help disseminate this information, remember to like and share this article with your friends and followers. Your support is highly valued and enables us to create more content. Stay tuned for additional interesting and educational discussions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest content on various topics and updates. Your participation is crucial to our ability to explore, learn, and grow as a community. Until we reconnect, take care and continue expanding your horizons. For additional resources and personalized advice, consider a one-on-one -on -one session or explore our free book. Find the link in the description below. Feel free to share your questions or thoughts in the comments. Your journey to understanding and healing is significant and our support is here for you. Reasons why narcissists are always interested in coming back to you. The truth you need to know. Recovering from a challenging breakup with a narcissist involves reflecting on the nature of the split. Questions may arise, such as whether the narcissist intentionally ended the relationship or if you made the painful decision to break away from their strong influence. The situation becomes even more complex when you observe them quickly shifting their focus to someone new, adding confusion and emotional turmoil. After such a relationship, Emotions can be intense, necessitating a deep confrontation with reality. For those currently dealing with a recent breakup, it's vital to recognize that even if the separation appeared amicable, the narcissist might attempt to re-enter your life. 
Understanding their cyclical behavior is crucial, helping you prepare for the possibility of their reappearance. For those who have elapsed some time since the breakup, a more in-depth exploration into the peculiar facets of narcissistic behavior becomes imperative. Upon closer examination, the narcissist exhibits an uncanny ability to immerse themselves in new relationships, seemingly on a quest to discover the most profound connection conceivable. This behavior implies a perception of others as disposable, even if only temporarily, as the narcissist places high value on their new connection, while flaunting it almost provocatively initially. However, the transient nature of this display becomes apparent over time, akin to a fleeting breeze. The narcissist's inclination to showcase their new alliance diminishes, highlighting the impermanence of their actions. What may be conspicuous today in their attempt to provoke reactions eventually wanes, underscoring the fleeting nature of their behavior in the post-breakup landscape. Comprehending these dynamics is pivotal for navigating the intricacies of healing and moving forward. As we traverse the intricate terrain of relationships, particularly with individuals exhibiting narcissistic traits, it becomes apparent that not every encounter is tainted by toxicity. Picture engaging with someone more conventional and seasoned, an individual who has weathered the highs and lows of various relationships. These individuals possess a sharp awareness of narcissistic behaviors, having finely tuned their ability to identify manipulative tendencies. This stands in stark contrast to the initial, perhaps blissfully ignorant experiences of dealing with narcissists. Life experience provides us with the discernment to spot manipulators, even when disguised in the allure of a new relationship. The yearning for the presence of those who have undergone narcissistic relationships is a fascinating phenomenon. Despite leaving individuals in a state of despair and worthlessness, narcissists often find themselves longing for the qualities they once took for granted. Post-separation, they gradually recognize the true worth of their previous partners, the boundless love, purity, honesty, and authenticity that were integral to the relationship. Contrasting this with the new supply, they may discern the absence of these qualities, heightening their longing for the revival of the previous connection. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that narcissists have a tendency to sever ties. The aftermath of a breakup often involves a smear campaign where they publicly announce their estrangement from us and tarnish our reputation in our social circles. This calculated effort complicates any potential return as their stubbornness, egotism, and pride may hinder them from reaching out openly. If you find yourself in a situation where the narcissist attempts to reconnect, whether subtly through a social media like or a message from a cleverly disguised profile, it's vital to recognize these actions as integral components of the intricate machinery they employ for manipulation. Whether you're in the initial stages of navigating this challenging situation or find yourself deeper down the rabbit hole, reflecting on past attempts by the narcissist to re-establish contact can offer valuable insights. Identifying the patterns and grasping the underlying motivations behind these actions can empower individuals to make informed decisions about re-engaging or maintaining healthy boundaries. Amidst the seemingly intentional efforts to provoke envy and heartache by showcasing their new partner in front of you, there exists a deeper layer of motivation beyond the surface theatrix. Their conduct reflects a sense of desperation, an unyielding endeavor to reconnect with you and ultimately pull you back into the gravitational force of their influence. The presentation of a thriving romance is not merely an act of showcasing, but a strategic maneuver aimed at rekindling the flames of your attention the very attention they crave. It is essential to acknowledge that in their yearning for reconciliation, they secretly wish to witness you plead for a reunion. A notable instance is the crafting of a dating profile where an individual extolled the wonders of their life since meeting a new partner. 
at the time, the motives were veiled in ambiguity, but in hindsight, it becomes clear that it was a calculated effort to capture your attention, propelled by an underlying discontent and an intense desire for your return. In this intricate dance between two parties, the power resides in the realm of silence. Resisting the temptation to supplicate, beg, or engage in the futile pursuit of reconciliation becomes our ally. Such actions might be customary in the context of rational and healthy relationships, but when grappling with a narcissist, they only serve to subject us to humiliation. Even if we were to capture their attention and extend an olive branch, there remains the possibility that they are still reveling in the honeymoon phase of their newfound connection. Opting for the path of silence allows the dust to settle, revealing the depth of their desperation. Their reactions unfold in various ways, whether through an inundation of social media with extravagant praise for their new partner, or a retreat into a shroud of silence. This moment of revelation becomes an opportunity to reclaim control, witnessing the unravelling of their carefully crafted facade, and in turn, fostering a clearer understanding of the dynamics at play in the intricate web of narcissistic relationships. It is crucial to understand that early on, they often realise the unparalleled value your presence holds in their life. Therefore, advocating for letting them go becomes a consistent stance. This is not an invitation to welcome them back, but a deliberate act to firmly seal the door shut. Releasing them serves a profound purpose as it compels them to confront the significance you hold. They gradually recognize the unique qualities and advantages you possess, attributes deliberately absent in their newfound connection. Over time, they become acutely aware of the benefits you provided, advantages that the seemingly enticing landscapes they explored failed to deliver. As mentioned earlier, they might venture off to what initially seems like a more promising scenario, only to discover it resembles artificial turf or withered grass, a realization that intensifies their desperation to return. Their apparent lack of understanding may be perplexing, Sometimes, the only way for a lesson to genuinely take root is through personal introspection. Interestingly, the more you voice objections, reason, or engage in debates with them, the more they tend to distance themselves from you. Therefore, the recommendation is to avoid pushing for change. If the separation is relatively recent, allow time to pass, perhaps at least a month. In the interim, Envelop yourself in tranquility and become an enigma. It is likely that their inclination to return will become apparent. Their return isn't merely a casual hello, how have you been, or a simple like on a social media post. Even if they struggle to express it overtly, there's a profound subtext indicating their deep-seated desire to reintegrate into your life, though left unsaid. They grapple with the intricate process of retracing their steps and repairing the bridges they once intentionally set ablaze. It's crucial to understand that it's only a matter of time before the narcissist attempts to re-enter your life. Whether your wound is recent or long-standing, there's a significant likelihood they will try to find their way back in. Recovering from narcissistic abuse is a gradual process and the perpetrators often face difficulties severing their own ties to those they mistreated. They might pretend to have moved on, perhaps by getting married or starting families. However, in reality, these endeavors seldom fill the void they created. Disregard any stories they crafted during your relationship. Keep in mind that deceit is a tool in their arsenal, be it undervaluing their emotional investment or displaying a general disinterest. It's all part of a complex manipulation strategy crafted to serve their own interests. If you found this article enlightening, we appreciate your support through likes and subscriptions to our channel. Stay tuned for upcoming updates, rest assured. When a narcissist realizes they have a problem with a powerful person, 
This is how they defeat it. The narcissists begin to sense that their mask is slipping and you're seeing through their facade. Their usual bag of tricks no longer distracts or impresses. They're left with a choice, be ignored or be dismissed. It's widely understood that narcissists thrive on attention of any kind. Neglect and criticism strike a particularly painful chord because they bruise their fragile egos and trigger deep-seated shame. But let's be honest, they'd brought it upon themselves. So, what do they do? They pick fights with you to assert their superiority, playing the classic big me 